So, sir, let us know. What do you see today uh, with this crash going on? Basically, I saw, I heard the impact, and I took a look and uh, saw a motorcycle underneath, a moped. I walked over there and I saw that, that guy laying right next to the uh, actual moped, and he didn't look too good. Uh, very little blood, but his face was like kind of bare thin, and he was breathing slightly. And I saw when he stopped breathing, so... I'm assuming they brought him back. I don't know, like you said. Wow. Basically, that's, that's what I saw. Wow. And, and uh, is, when you say underneath, you mean laying on the ground? Is that what you mean? The body was right next to the bike. It was, I think, the truck, after it hit, it might, it might have... Dragged like, him? Dragged him or went over him a little bit on the side. His leg was kind of like, you know... Wow. Basically, and, that's what I saw. And, and you actually saw the, the, uh, the, the, the truck fleeing, right? Your mask was coming yes, down. So you yes. knew your mask was coming down. Uh, okay, yeah. tell us about the truck fleeing. Yeah, he stopped there for a little bit. He looked an older man, kind of uh, probably in his 50s, early 60s. He looked back, he just took off nice and slow. That's the last we saw him. And what kind of vehicle was he driving? I believe it was an F-150 white. Okay. Truck, older, older model. You know. like, more or less, what year do you think it was? That's no problem. probably the early 2000s, I'm assuming, mid. mid. Okay. Okay. Basically, and, that's it. And, and tell us when you went over looking at the guy on the ground. I mean, you were the first one there. Tell us what you saw. <sighs> yeah, uh, he, he didn't. He was bleeding from here, but hardly any blood. And he was breathing slightly, just going like this. And then he stopped moving. That, that was that was pretty. So the cops came in and you know, they did what they had to do. How does it feel seeing this, knowing that? That's horrible. This person probably lost their life and someone fled the scene. That's horrible, man. This is a bad area. That corner is very dangerous. It really is. You gotta watch it there. 
That's the second death this year, I, I believe, there. Okay. So, basically, that's it. All right, great, sir. Please, could you say and spell your name? Alfred Lugones. How do you spell it? L-U-G-O-N-E-S. Last name, my first name is Alfred. How do you spell it? A-L-F-R-E-D. -L -L Perfect. Sir, can you please start from the beginning and, and tell us in Spanish what happened today? Uh, ¿Qué pasó hoy en Español? Sí, el, un señor en una moto estaba, trató de cruzar las esquinas ahí, entonces vino un camión que él no lo vio y le, le dio, lo tiró, miró y vio a la persona y, y se dio a la fuga por el despacito en un camión F-150 blanco. Y él, yo vi a la víctima y no se veía muy bien. Él no se movió prácticamente. Desde que le dio, ahí se quedó. Wow. And describe when you went over and looked at the man. What do you see in Spanish? Yeah. Yes, la cara estaba como para adentro. Esta parte de la boca aquí. Y como un pedazo así como de carne. Y entonces este, la pierna la tenía torcida. Y no se movió. That's it. Eso es todo. And you, see, you mentioned that earlier in English that the guy stopped for a minute, looked back. Can you just mention that in Spanish and also describe it? Sí, el hombre him? paró, el que le dio en el camión, parió, eh, paró, miró un rato, aproximadamente un par de minutos, dos o tres minutos, y se fue. Tu reacción? Yeah, eso es horrible. Eso es un... Ojalá que lo cojan y le metan el máximo de la ley, porque eso, eso no está bien. Okay, señor. Muchas gracias. Uh, ¿Y tu nombre en español? Eh, Alfred, A-L-F-R-E-D, apellido Lugones, L-U-G-O-N-E-S. Muchas gracias. Tengan buen día, señor. Okay, you got it.